Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Good evening. God bless each and every one of you. Welcome to a night of the prophetic. Hallelujah. I am Pastor Prophetess Carmen Haywood. And I just take this time to greet you in Jesus' mighty name. As you all are coming on, I want you to share and invite someone tonight. Amen. Take the time to share, invite someone to the broadcast tonight. It's going to be fire. Hallelujah. It's going to be fire in the Holy Ghost tonight. Somebody's going to leave this broadcast with the victory. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So we give God praise. We give God glory. We give God honor. Good evening. God bless you, Sister Johanna, tonight on Instagram Live and Facebook Live. Hallelujah. We're not on our prayer call tonight. For those of you that are taking the time to dial in, we're not on the prayer line. We're just on social media tonight. Amen. God bless you all tonight. I am honored. Amen. I am privileged to be before you all. Amen. We have our guest speaker that's getting ready to join us momentarily. Amen. And we thank God tonight for the man of God. Amen. We thank God for his life. Hallelujah. We thank God for the prophetic oil. Amen. That rests upon. Amen. Prophet Cedric Stanton. Glory to God. We thank God for him on tonight. Amen. This is not his first time joining us. And this is not his second time. I believe this is his third time. Amen. Joining us for a night of the prophetic. So we are excited tonight. Amen. Some of you have come ready <laughs> to receive from the Lord tonight. Glory to God. Once again, I am Prophetess Carmen Haywood. For those of you that may not know, this may be your first time joining us. Amen. I am the overseer, the apostle. Amen. Of Prophetic Impact Prayer and Word Ministry. Amen. Located here in Raleigh, North Carolina. Hallelujah. And we thank God tonight. Glory, glory, glory. I said we thank God tonight. Hallelujah. As you all are coming on to the broadcast, please share. And if you have shared, I want you to type shared with a heart. All right. Can you type shared with a heart tonight? Amen. And just let me know that you have shared. Glory to God because sharing is caring. <laughs> Amen. When you take the time to share, hallelujah. God's going to do something special for you on tonight. Amen. Blessings to you all. Those of you that are greeting me tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. My prayer is that, and we're getting ready to pray. And my prayer is that those of you who have been faithful to God, those of you who have been alignment with been in alignment with God, that the Lord will speak directly to you tonight. Amen. Those of you that are coming ready, amen, to hear a right now word from the Lord. I'm excited. Hallelujah. I feel a praise in my spirit tonight. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. I said I feel a praise. In my spirit tonight, hallelujah. Thank you, Minister Yvette, for sharing. Thank you, Lashanta, Sister Lashanta, for sharing tonight. Those of you that have shared, come on, hallelujah. Continue to share. Invite your family, invite your friends to the broadcast tonight. It's Friday night, <laughs> hallelujah. And if the truth be told, some of us will still be in the club. Y'all not talking back to me, hallelujah. If you wasn't saved and sanctified, Amen. Tonight, right about around this time, you probably just be leaving your house, right? <laughs> Listen, you, you just be leaving your house right about now. Amen. Glory to God. Ready to go ahead and party and have a so-called good time, right? Those of us who were in the world and God saved us for real, for real. Amen. We have no desire to drink. We have no desire to, to go to the club. Hallelujah. Drop it like it's hot. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now we have learned to serve the Lord with gladness hallelujah hallelujah now we have learned to love god for real for real amen so we thank god on tonight amen that this is a friday night amen and we are ready to bless god we are ready to praise god hallelujah we are ready amen to hear what thus saith the lord tonight so thank you all for sharing you're gonna leave with the victory tonight somebody shout i got the victory come on somebody shout i got the victory Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Thank you, Sister Amy. God bless you on tonight. Thank you all for the congratulations. Amen to my apostolic affirmation. Amen. The service will be soon. So you, you all can look for a flyer. Amen. If you can make it on out. Amen to North Carolina. Hallelujah. Where my apostolic affirmation um, service will be. <laughs> Listen, it's going to be blessed in the Lord. Amen. And I thank God for my chief apostle, Samuel H. Jones Sr. Amen. I honor him on tonight as well. 
Glory to God. Hallelujah. I thank God for his spirit tonight. I thank God for the spirit of praise. Hallelujah. That's right, Kenyatta. You got the victory. Yes, Carletta, you got the victory. Come on. Hallelujah. Somebody shout, I got the victory. Thank you, Sister Lisa. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you so much. God bless each and every one of you. Those of you that have greeted me, if I did not call your name, I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> but to all of our members and covenant partners, God bless you tonight. Hallelujah. And for those of you that, that just join us every now and then, God bless you as well. For those of you that are really committed to this ministry with your prayers and your support, my God, my God, my God, you are in for a treat on tonight. Yes, hallelujah. We thank God for the prophet. Amen. Prophet Cedric Stanton. Amen. He's all the way in Mississippi. Glory to God. But we thank God for his life. He's getting ready to grace, getting ready to grace this broadcast. Amen. So take the time to share. We're getting ready to pray. Ah, you did your shot. Glory to God. I said we're getting ready to pray. God bless you all. Good evening. Thank you all for greeting me tonight. Hallelujah, hallelujah. That's right. The victory, the victory, the victory. Come on, Gene. Hallelujah. That's right. You got the victory. Hey. <laughs> Somebody give him praise. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Listen, I've been blessing God all day today. I've been praising the Lord all day today. Hallelujah. All this week. Amen. God is so faithful and he's so good. We're getting ready to pray. Hallelujah. Because I believe the prophet is getting ready to grace the broadcast. Amen. And we just want to pray and saturate the atmosphere. Hallelujah. I know that the praise is high tonight. Hallelujah. I know the praise is high tonight, people of God. Amen. God bless you, Tanya. God bless you on tonight. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. God bless you, Malcolm. God bless you, Carletta. Amen. On tonight, each and every one of you. I know the praise is high tonight. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We thank God for the high praise tonight. Hallelujah. We thank God for what he's about to do in this atmosphere. You're going to leave with the victory. Amen. I say you're going to leave with the victory. <laughs> hallelujah. Hallelujah. I say you're going to leave. Mm. You're going to leave this place, this space with the victory in Jesus mighty name. Let us pray. Father, we thank you on tonight, Father God. Mm. Father, we enter into your courts with praise tonight. We enter into your courts with thanksgiving on tonight, Father. Thanking you, praising you, worshiping you, adoring you just for who you are, Father. In the name of Jesus, oh God. Father, we thank you, yes, God. Hallelujah. Just for who you are tonight. For you are El Elyon. Yes, God. You are Lord God all by yourself. And beside you, there is none other. Father, we take this time to repent in your presence, oh God. We ask for forgiveness in the name of Jesus. Lord, we don't want anything to hinder the moving of your spirit on tonight, oh God. So, Father, we take this time to repent in your presence. Lord, we ask right now that you wash the slate clean, oh God. Any sins that we have committed of omission and commission in the name of Jesus, oh God. Any sins on yesterday, last week, last month that we did not repent for. Father, we take this time right now to repent in your presence in the name of Jesus and Lord we ask that you forgive us oh God and we thank you tonight Father that you are faithful and just to forgive us for all sin now Holy Spirit come on in this space oh God come on in this place Holy Ghost and have thine way tonight oh God touch the hearts of your people tonight even as you release your word through your prophet in the name of Jesus Lord we lift them up before you right now God your manservant your prophet your voice in the land hallelujah we thank you for prophet cedric on tonight oh god and lord we ask right now god that you hide him in the shadow of your wings father we ask that you would use him mightily for your glory in the name of jesus lord we thank you there shall be no backlash retaliation in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord God, that every evil spirit, I ah, did your shy, that is trying to come against this broadcast, that would try to come against his word. Oh God, ah, yes, Lord, I hear you. That every attack of the enemy will fall to the ground and it will be null and void. In Jesus' mighty name. Father, as we take this time to pray and seek your face tonight, um, oh God, we thank you for your Holy Spirit being present. Um, we thank you for your fire even now, God. Um, oh God, that is gonna fall on this broadcast 
broadcast tonight. Um, we thank you right now, God, that you are in the midst of us on tonight. Um, you said with two or three are gathered in your name, um, that you would be in the midst of us. Um, so, Lord, we thank you that you're in the midst right now. And we praise your name, oh God. Um, we lift you up in this place, God. Um, we lift you up in this space, God. Um, and we ask right now, God, that you would come on in, um, that you would take your seat, Holy Ghost, um, that you would move mightily by your spirit in the name of Jesus, um, that you would speak to that person, oh God, uh, who needs to come out of that pit of sin, um, that you would speak to that person, oh God, um, that needs to come out of the place of con uh, not being consistent. Um, oh God, we thank you right now in the name of Jesus um, for that person that is crying out to you, God, um, that is saying, what must I do to be saved? Um, Father, we thank you right now, God, um, that somebody's going to leave this broadcast uh, saved on tonight. Um, we thank you, oh God, um, that somebody's going to leave this broadcast healed tonight. Um, we thank you, oh God, uh, that somebody's going to leave this broadcast delivered um, in the name of Jesus. Um, somebody's going to leave with their mind changed um, and their heart touched tonight um, and their mind regulated um, in the name of Jesus. Um, somebody's going to leave with the victory tonight. Um, so, Father, we take the time to say thank you. Mm. We take this time to say thank you. Oh, God, we take this time to say thank you. We take this time to say thank you. Oh, God, thank you for your Holy Spirit. Thank you for your presence, God. Thank you for your anointing in this place. Oh, God, let it fall fresh in Jesus' mighty name. And, Lord, we'll forever praise you. We'll forever glorify you. We'll forever give you the highest praise, which is hallelujah. And it's in Jesus' mighty name we we do pray. Hallelujah. Somebody shout amen and amen. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I feel the anointing of God. Hallelujah. I feel the presence of the Lord tonight. Hallelujah. I feel God moving. Hallelujah. Already. Amen. I believe the prophet is on tonight. Hallelujah. If you agree with that prayer, amen. I want you to shout amen in your atmosphere. Hallelujah. I'm excited. Amen. I'm overjoyed. I'm elated. <laughs> Hallelujah. I thank God for what he's about to do in this place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you all to take the time to share. I'm getting ready to bring the prophet forth. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I believe he's ready. Hallelujah. Amen. To release what thus saith the Lord. Amen. He has free uh, course tonight. Amen. Uh, Prophet Cedric is no stranger. Amen. To our ministry. Hallelujah. He has blessed us numerous times. Amen. And we thank God for him on tonight. Hallelujah. Truly a vessel that is yielded to the Lord. Amen. And I thank God for him tonight. Amen. My dear brother. Amen. Prophet Cedric Stanton. So I'm going to bring him forth at this time. Amen. And as he comes forth, amen, just allow the spirit of the Lord to minister to you. Amen. Whatever it is that the prophet releases tonight. Amen. Prepare your heart. Ask God to touch you. Amen. Before the prophet speaks. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. So that you can receive all that God has just for you. Glory to God. Amen. I'm going to try my best to add you in prophet Cedric. Amen. I know sometimes this doesn't, doesn't uh, work too good, but we're going to, we're going to try it. Amen. Glory to God. Uh, Prophet, if you're able to, okay, for some reason, I can't even, I see your name, but I can't add you. Okay, there it is. All right, I got the request. Amen. People of God, get ready to hear what thus saith the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. As the prophet is coming forth, amen, let's give God some praise. Glory to bless God. Bless us. Bless us. Amen. Amen. The glory God bless God. you, prophet. It's already on here. To God be the glory. Thank you, Father. So delighted to be Jesus. on here. God is doing some amazing things. Hallelujah. And I'll tell you right now, uh, <laughs> if you're not partial in expectation on tonight, I'll My tell God. you right now, you better get into that place right now. Ooh. Do whatever that you need to do. Repent. Whatever it may be, <laughs> I declare and I encourage you yes. to prostrate, to prostrate yourself into oh, the expectation yeah. because it is the level of the expectation to see God work manifested Thank in your Jesus. life. I'm telling you right now, God is going to do some amazing things on tonight. And so I'm just getting used to 
setting this up and everything. Uh, got home a little late, but to God be the glory. God is going to do some amazing things tonight. Amen. So I'm going to go ahead and go forth. The woman of God already set the atmosphere. So let me just do one thing right quick because uh, somebody is trying to get on. And I need to send this message right quick. Uh, hold on just a second because... Uh, Hallelujah. Uh, glory to God. Yes. Glory, uh, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You all share. Uh, take the time to share. Is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Take the time to share. Those of you on Instagram Live, yes, you got to put there. your headset in so that you can hear the prophet tonight. Amen. I'm going to try to keep my on my end um, as low as possible for Instagram Live. Amen. But Instagram, if you can't hear at any moment, jump on to Facebook under Carmen Haywood. All right, Instagram. I know it's a few of y'all on here. Hallelujah. Take the time to share. Okay, invite. You on, is this on Instagram? As well. Yes, Prophet. Okay, let me do it this way. Let me do it this way because it, it's a private it's a private on Instagram. It's my private page on Instagram. Yes. I don't know okay, if I can okay, add you there as well. Get on. She, okay. Let me just do this on Facebook. All right. right. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, give me, give me. Uh, Take your time, Prophet. Hallelujah. It shatanda baha. Those of you that can pray in your heavenly language, he koramandi didi osha. Begin to give God some worship. Ha ya didi osha. Hallelujah. Begin to give God praise. Begin to bless Him. Eh na 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 siki didi didi osha ya. Ha ya da maseke ya didi didi osha. Oh, God, we worship you. We love you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm, to your name, God. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm. Yes, God. Yes, God. We love you tonight. So I did, I did that. I just told the person to go to my page. That's how I do because uh, I think what it is, she have a, uh, a ministry page and that's it. So I just told her to go to my page. She should be able to find me. But to God be the glory. God is going to get the glory and he's going to get the victory tonight. Satan's defeated. You know, Satan would try to do all he can, keep it from the word to be spread where it needs to be spread. And I'm telling you right now, the people that are on here on tonight, prophetess, they need to hear this word on tonight. And I believe God is going to do something miraculous on tonight. So I just decree and declare that you came at the right place at the right time for God to manifest some things in your life. And I just decree and declare that right now in the name of Jesus, yes, Lord. that nothing shall not put you astray. Check this. Nothing shall not put you astray from that what God is going to do here on tonight. And so I just speak that to your inner man right now because some of you all are looking for God to do something incredible in your life. I know half of you all came on here on tonight because of the word that has been prophesied over your life. The word that has been speaking into your inner man. What you've been praying for, and you simply saying, God, I need to hear from you. I need to hear from you. Not the same word, not for the same prophecy, but Father, I need to hear from you for you uh, from for myself on tonight. Concerning some things that has been heaven on my heart, concerning some things that has been on my Ooh, mind, Lord. some of the things that I just can't shake loose, but I've been convicted. I've been, I've been in this place, but I don't understand it. But Father, I need you to answer me on tonight. I do not need to hear another prophecy. I do not need to hear, Father, the same word that has been prophesied over my life. Father, I need to hear from you on tonight. And the Lord says that the level of the expectation where you're at is going to cause your faith to be activated and become alive. And God is going to speak to you because you're going to tap into a realm on tonight that you're going to hear God very clearly concerning the things that has to be going on in your heart, some of the decisions that you need to make in this season. I'm here to tell you right now by the sound of my voice that God is going to answer you clearly on tonight in the name of Jesus. And I decree it and I declare that right now I come against anything that will hijack this glory on this 
this broadcast on tonight, I come against it with the authority and the fire of the Holy Spirit that it may be consumed now in the name of Jesus. I command every spirit that wants to come and to steal for the purpose of the people's lives to be refilled with the hope and the love that they need on tonight, the strength, the, the virtue to push throughout this season. In the name of Jesus, I come against them right now and I come to serve notice that you would not win on tonight. In the name of Jesus. And Father, we honor you. We bless you. We thank you, Lord, for the people that are on here on tonight are ready to receive, Father, what you have to say, Father, in the name of Jesus. And so, Father, we thank you. We honor you. We glorify you in Jesus' name. This is what I hear the Lord is saying. I minister early this month uh, about the eighth month and of course we're about to come to the end of the eighth month the eighth month was basically the new beginning the new beginning and so the lord spoke to me before i came into this eighth month saying that this is a new beginning that he is making his people whole 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 i need somebody to type that being made whole this is a new beginning of being yeah. made whole Meaning is that God is going to complete some things in your life that relates to your next, that relates to the areas of your life, that relates to your relationship, that relates to your ministry. God says that he is completing that which is a great work that's already begun in you. Speak and profit. not so much of debt, not so much of debt, Ooh. but God said he is making you whole so you can be ready for your next so you can be ready for the next move so you can be ready for the next season and so i just release that right quick this is just the introduction you all this is not the message on tonight because god got something for you all on tonight mm. but this is what i'm telling you because this is going to tie in what the lord has mm -hmm. already released in me this has been a new beginning new of beginning. being made whole oh, new beginning gosh. of being made whole new beginning <laughs> of being made whole some of you all don't want to be made whole. Some of you all don't want to be made whole concerning what's going on tonight. But I decree and I declare in yes, order God. to go to your next, you got to be made whole. In order to pursue the marriage that God has for you all Hello. in this season, you got to be made whole. You got to be made whole in yes, your God. mind. You got to be made whole concerning that what yes, God has God. assigned you what God has given to you. You got to be made whole because wholeness, let me tell you, wholeness is going to bring some things, it's going to add some things to death, which is the purpose of God for you to be able to attain, for you to be able to take authority, to take dominion, to take that territory because why you're being made whole concerning what God is going to place you in because he knows that you are the very elect that's going to represent him. You are the very elect that you're going to demonstrate his power that is very needed in this very hour, in this Speak very Lord. season, in the name of Jesus. So many people are doing the work of God, but they are not carrying no power. They are not demonstrating no My power. Lord. Every day, every day that you see spiritually doesn't mean that they are flowing in the power of God or they are demonstrated in the power of God. Yes. But God says that you are the very elect that he can entrust with the God. God. Your mind is being made whole concerning the things yes, of Lord. him. And God says right now that this is a new beginning mm -hmm. of being made yes, whole. Yes, People that you I see agree. that is talking about the Lord their minds are not being made whole. Oh and when their minds are not being made whole, they are not demonstrating the power of God that is very needed in the ministry. My God, mm. yes, God. Something, can be something. that's a spirit of divination. Mm -hmm. And so you got to watch out with that when you're dealing with that. Because when you're dealing with that, you are starting to, you are starting to, how I can say, you are starting to contribute to the ways of man you're starting to contribute to the ways of the flesh you're starting to contribute to the ways that is not pleasing to god and so that's why you are in a state that's why you are in a state of not being made whole because why you are being dealing with the form of godliness you're Come being on. dealing with somebody that just saying the word come on prophet saying the lord he, 
that's why he said those those that prophesy, those that speak in my name, Lord, Lord, that that, that doesn't mean that they're going to enter to the kingdom of yes. God. Tell the truth. Mm. Mm. The form of God in this. My God. And denying the power mm. of him. Jesus. And I'm going to get into that tonight. Because you know what the Lord says? That those that deny the power of him prophetess. Mm-hmm. They are carrying the spirit of stubbornness. My Lord. Pharaoh denied the power of God. Mm. And he carried the stubbornness in him. Wow. That's a spirit that must break off your life on tonight. Ooh, tonight. Because, because see, it is the power of break it, God. Lord. It is the power of God that comes through instructions. Mm -hmm. Some of you all didn't know that. The power of God comes yeah, through the instructions of God. And how many of y'all can apprehend that? Mm -hmm. How many of y'all are willing to say? Mm -hmm. How many of y'all are willing to say? That I am willing to carry the assignment my of God. God. I am willing to follow the instructions of God. My Lord. You want the power of the breakthrough. You want the power of deliverance. <laughs> you want to experience the Ooh. power of healing. But yet you deny it. My Lord. Because you are not carrying the instructions of God. You are not carrying the instructions of God. Let me let me let me just get into this because I feel this warm. Mm -hmm. I feel this very hot and warm in my spirit mm -hmm, right now. Mm -hmm. Speak, Lord. I feel this very warm in my spirit right now. And I believe a lot of, a lot of you all are going to have the knowledge of stirring this tonight. Because you are, are looking for answers. You are not looking for the same word. You Speak, are not Lord. looking. You, some of you all are not coming from here yes. for uh, somebody to prophesy of your life. Ooh. Because you're tired. She even though you, you like prophecy, mm -hmm. but you're tired now, it. and it's a reason why you're you tired right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. It's because of the people that have been speaking over your life has been denying the power of God. My God. Who does power? They have been denying the power mm. of God. Jesus. Mm. And, and, and the Lord simply saying Ooh, what he God. wants to do tonight. Let me just share what the Lord said that he wants to do tonight. Uh, and it's coming from Exodus 9 and 4. It says, but the Lord will distinguish between Israel livestock <laughs> and the livestock of the Egyptians. No animals belonging to the Israelites, catch this, will die. Mm. Let me just prophesy this because I, I see that you are, are on the level of the expectation tonight. So let me just prophesy mm. to you all. I decree to declare that your livestock your growth and your establishments will not die out. Mm -hmm. Your livestock will not die out on tonight. I'm here to decree and declare that because God is going to distinguish. God is going to distinguish every establishment that is in your life and concerning that is going to bring growth, concerning what's going to cause you to have the spoil. Whatever that it is that you want to collect in the season, God says that, that where you're at is not going to die out. My Lord. It's not going to die out. Your Speak provisions out. that God has given to you, the provision that God has given to you, you will not die out. Because Jeez. God is separating and he's distinguishing. Mm. He's distinguishing what is wise and what is foolish. He's distinguishing <laughs> what, what, who have power and who does Come on, prophet. In this very hour. <laughs> and the Lord says that, that those that are willing to be made home in their mindset, they are not going to die out in not the name of Jesus. Mm. They are not going to die yeah, out. Na na Sunday. Oh, you na na are not na na going to die out. Oh, I, God. Decree, I, I declare right now. Yeah, God. Somebody need to put on uh, somebody need to put on this chat. My livestock will not die out. My Lord. My livestock will not die out. Ooh. My livestock oh, yes. will not, not die, die out. out. In the name of Jesus. Ooh, in the name of Jesus. Oh, the name of Jesus. It will not die out. My establishment, my growth, my provisions, my the opportunities that, that is from God, it will not die out. It will not die out. I will live it to see everything that God has prepared for me. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Ooh, glory. Your livestock. 
Hey. Your livestock Shut will up. not die out. Hallelujah. God is distinguished. God is distinguished what is wise mm. and what is not wise. God is distinguished. Wow. Who's denying the power of God mm, mm, mm. and who is carrying the instructions of God to experience Speak, the power of him. Speak, in the name Lord. of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yeah, God. Your We're not die out. Let me go on further. Uh, when we look, when we look at the place, yeah, God. when we look at when we look at uh, 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 when we look at the plans that happened in Egypt concerning Pharaoh's sturbiness, uh, we are looking at the at the pre let me just say that at the pre complete work and the power of God manifesting there and before Pharaoh, the beginning of the plague. Catch this: the beginning of the plague uh-huh. was the blood. And it ended with the blood. Did y'all catch that? My Lord. If y'all read about the plague, the first plague was the blood. Mm. The blood. In the, uh, 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 the now that had turned to blood. The now river that had turned to blood, which is in Exodus 7 and 14 to 25. Yes. The now turned into blood. And what happened at the end? It was the blood. <laughs> My Lord. It was the blood that was on the doorpost. Yes. That passed over the doorpost. Yes. Concerning Israel. Yeah, no, no, my see. Woo, and it was God, taking out the, the firstborn mm. of the Egyptians. Yeah, God. It began with the blood, and guess what? It completed with the blood. Come on, prophet. Hey. This God. is the complete. This is Woo. the pre. Let me just say that. This is the pre-complete work. And the power of God manifested concerning this. And let me tell you right now, it is always, and it will be always about Jesus Christ. Yes, yes, yes. It will always. Yes. Let me tell you, if your mindset, if your mindset is not set on the mark of Christ, Mm -hmm. if it's not set on the mark, of Christ, yes, then the thing about it is that you won't be able to walk in your identity authority, which is the power of God that yes. he is entrusting you concerning where you're at, concerning the position, concerning what you're calling, concerning that what you're walking to, you Speak won't Lord. be able to walk through it and be able to experience not only the growth, but the increase that God is willing to give to you. Yes. Speak, Lord. Because we got to use authority in this very hour. Mm-hmm. But let me go on further. Let me go on further. Thank you, Lord. And then this is the thing that the Lord had commissioned and told Moses. He said, farewell. Pharaoh's being stirred. Jesus. He refuses to let my people go. In the morning, meet Pharaoh. And when he is on his way to the Nile, wait for him on mm. the bank of the river to turn along the staff that turned into a snake. Say to him that the Lord of God of Hebrews sent me to tell you, let my people go to worship me in the desert. Mm. So far, you have not listened. Here is what the Lord says. This is the way you will recognize that I am the Lord. My Lord. With this staff in my hand, Ooh. I'm going to strike the Nile and the water will turn into blood. The fish in the Nile will die. The river will stink. The Egyptians will not be able to drink any water from the Nile. And the Lord said to Moses, to Aaron, to take your staff and stretch it out, Mm -hmm. your hand over the waters of Egypt, and its river corner ponds, and all its uh, residues in the wooden and in the stone containers. Moses and Aaron did as the Lord had commanded in front of Pharaoh Mm -hmm. and his officials. Aaron raised his staff and struck the Nile, and all the water in the river turned into blood. The fish in the Nile died, and it smelled so bad that the Egyptian could drink any water from the river. There was blood everywhere in Egypt, but the Egyptian magician did the same thing using their magic spell. So Pharaoh continued to be stirring and would not listen to Moses and Aaron, as the Lord had predicted. Mm. Pharaoh turned and went back to his palace. He dismissed the entire model. From his mouth, all the Egyptians dug along the Nile for 
water to drink because they couldn't drink any of the water from the uh, uh from the river seven days passed after the lord struck the mouth my lord this is the day god tells what he's about to do mm -hmm. and then he does it the emphasis is on the fact that when he says he's going to do something yes no power can stop him no power nobody need to catch that no, no, let me just say this. No, mm. any power that is not the power of God can stop the power oh, that of God. I must hear. Mm. And the power of God is in this word. God can speak it, and guess what? It yeah, God. Woo. He's able to perform. But let me just go on further. Jesus. Let me just go on further. Pharaoh stood powerless to protect his country and the people from the now turning into blood. Speak, Lord. And the magician catches. The magicians were able to appear to turn the water to blood. However, what was needed was the power to reverse the process. Wow. But it didn't it did go back. It didn't go back. That was trying to reverse it. That was trying to reverse it. And so they couldn't do it. Because why? God's power had accomplished it. This is what completely hmm. I'm capable of doing. And this is an example, a prime example of the deceitful nature of sin as it clouds in our what? Thoughts. My God. In our thoughts. In our thoughts. Jesus, the have mercy. Nature, the things that take place concerning when we allow stubbornness mm. to do this work. When we allow stubbornness to do this work. My God. We're going to come against the things of God. Mm hmm uh, let me just say this. The stubbornness will come against that which is the truth of God. Mm -hmm. It will come against us. Yes. Now, uh, let me just say this. It will cause us to come against that, mm -hmm. what we don't deserve and what we don't test. Because wow. while we are so in our stubbornness and we so in our pride, that we are willing to be comfortable in debt, mm. which we think is of God, which Speak we think Holy is Ghost. of the power of God. Oh, no, no, no. But this is what God would allow our servants to do. It will allow ourselves to fall into our own disgrace. My God. It will allow us mm -hmm. to fall in our own disgrace. Yes. Could it just be the simple fact that you haven't got to your nest because you're constantly falling into your own disgrace? Maybe the stubbornness that has been clouded in your mind My that God. is keeping you to see the other side of what <laughs> God has instructed you to do. Come on. Let's just be real and upfront tonight, Prophet. <laughs> this is wrong. Let me just be wrong. It's wrong, wrong Prophet. Yes. Listen, uh, we, 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 we constantly Holy have ghost. this mind that, uh, 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 that Pharaoh was just Pharaoh. We are not Pharaoh at all. Mm -mm. We are not Pharaoh at all mm -mm. When, when it comes to not uh when it comes to not testing or <laughs> examine ourselves. Let me let me yes. just uh be raw tonight. Let me just be raw tonight. Because some of us that not examine ourselves and, I, and not examine the season that we at, it, it, it can be stubbornness. It can be disturbing. Mm -hmm. It can be just stubbornness. Just stubbornness. Because of the sympathy fact. For no reason. Because of the sympathy fact that we pursue our way. We'll pursue it in our own way. Concerning, concerning what we are not seeing. What we are not seeing is bringing us. My is God. bringing us. Let me catch this. It is bringing not us into a it. place where we started to get frustrated. Because why? Wow, we are predicating what we are seeing. And we are predicating concerning where we are at. And the simple fact, because we are so uncomfortable, Lord, let me just say that. Mm. We are trying to find ways to be comfortable. It's the simple fact that stubbornness is having in our place where we are not examined in ourselves. Mm -hmm. Where we are not examined in ourselves. Yes. And when we are not examined in ourselves, we're oh. going to deny the power of God. Mm -hmm. We're going to deny the power of God. Jesus. And when we didn't have stubbornness to take our mindset, we will allow stubbornness to take our mindset that we are not able, we are not way, able Lord. to be transformed into the likeness of God so we can be renewed My concerning God. where we are oh, and no, 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 what he wants to do in our life. Ooh. Let me just go on further because I don't want to stay in the same place. So 
it begins with the blood that took place in the Nile River yeah. to the point that the people could not do nothing. Even the magicians tried to reverse this thing and they couldn't reverse it. And guess what happened? Guess what happened? The verse mentioned that Pharaoh, catch this, that Pharaoh went on his what? Own way. Mm -hmm. He went on his own way. Right. That just to tell you how much stuff Jesus. That, that just how much it tells you how much starving is. Ooh, listen, people of God, listen. And that it will <laughs> resist. It will resist that Ooh. what you need to examine. It will resist that what is keeping you. Uh, uh, uh. Mm. Let me Ooh, just say that. God. It will cause you to resist that that needs to be broken off your life mm. so you can be able to move swiftly and yes. concerning what God is saying and speaking to you tonight. Yes. Meaning if you all that's not accelerating the way that God is trying to take you to is a simply fact is that's that it. you are not you are not renewing in the area where your faith oh, can be God. built up because you will take you will take that resistance you will take that resistance you will take that resistance and that you will go ahead you will go ahead as it relates to the uncommon which is new and that you will forget about God and you will forget about what you need in this very hour mm. that's going to push you into your next. Let me just go on further. Exodus 4, 21 to 23, the Lord said to Moses, when you get back to Egypt, see that you show Pharaoh all the amazing things that I have given you the power to do. But I will make him disturbance so that he will not let the people go. Then tell Pharaoh, this is what the Lord says. Israel is my firstborn son. I will tell you to let my son go and so that he may worship me. Mm -hmm. But you refuse to let him go. So now I'm going to kill your firstborn. My Lord. This is an important and an art-inspired display of God's almighty wow. On those he destroyed his own, then he undeniable care and protection of those who belong to him is a foreshadow of what is to come hundreds of years later through Christ. At the same time, God triumphed over Satan through the cross, and he is also redeeming his people through the blood of Christ. My Lord. It's his power. It is his power to complete through the blood of Jesus Christ. Yes. And the simple fact is that it can be complete because of what? It is the power and the authority that is given back to Jesus Christ. Yes. Let me just decree and declare for one more. That his power is going, I decree and declare, that okay. his power is going to break the back and slaughter of the spirit of starviness. And the blood reversing death yes, over Lord. your mind in the name of Jesus. Because in the name of Jesus. What the, what the Lord is saying to you all on tonight. Mm. That if this is a new beginning of you being made whole concerning in your mindset, Lord. it is the blood, it is the blood that's My going God. to reverse them, that's going to reverse <laughs> them, keeping you from seeing yes. everything that God wants to do through you. And it is the power of God, mm -hmm. it is the power mm -hmm. of God that Ooh. wants to complete the work that is in your hey, life. But only it can be complete. Yeah. That if you if you keep the entry of your life, keep the entry of that which is sacred to God under the blood of Jesus Christ that will redeem you, that will cause you to be able to push and to cross over to that which is next in the name of Jesus. Because God is saying right now that his power is going to break the back and is going to swallow up the spirit of sterminess and the blood that's going to return, that's going to reverse death over your mind concerning some things that you have been stagnated, some concerning some things that has happened to you and that it has caused or brought death into. But I'm here to tell you right now that every day, that every day that has kept you into a place yes, where you are surrounded with people that want to be starving is concerning of you making moves, concerning of you making uncommon moves. The Lord says that he is getting ready to break the back of it. And not only that yes, he is getting God. ready to break the back of it, 
whatever has been Ooh, tried to put to death, God, the, the blood of Jesus Christ is going to reverse death on, on that that's trying to put to death over your life in the name of Jesus. And I just decree and declare that right now that the blood of Jesus is reversing death over that very thing that's trying to put death of death that is bringing growth, that is bringing restoration, that is bringing deliverance and breakthrough that's going to take place not only in your life, but the relationships and but and every area of your life, your ministry. I'm here to tell you right now that you are at the path of right now you are at the path of walking into the full mansion of God's salvation taking place over your life, over your finances right now, because this month that you're coming out of, as your mind is being made whole, I see in the spirit, uh, I see in the spirit realm that God is releasing the new virtue into you right now that's going to add on to this, what you have been moving forward with what you have been pressing in the season well, and I'm here to encourage you right now, as your mind be made whole, there is a virtue, there is a virtue that has been released on here for you to push to your next. There is a virtue that has been released unto you to be able to complete that work, complete that work that's going to impact lives and that's going to bless your life in the name of Jesus. God says that his power is breaking up that disturbance and is destroying it in the name of Jesus. And the blood, I decree to declare, the blood is reversing death over that that's trying to put to death, over that thing that is bringing growth to you, that's causing your hope to be refilled, that causes your love, your love to be refilled, because why God is preparing you for the love, he's preparing you for the love affair. He said, prepare you for the love affair. Get that right now. The love affair. The love affair. Now, if you commit an adultery, that is not love affair. <laughs> that is not love affair. But God says that he is, he is refilling the love that is in you. That's going to complete you for the love affair. Because there is some love. There is some love. That there is some love that God has to place in you for the new people that He's going to connect you with. You say love. I. You say Lord. I can't love the way I. Oh Lord, I can't. Come love on, you hitting it, Holy Ghost. I used to love because of what has happened to me, and the Lord says that His Holy power, Ghost. His power mm -hmm. is going to make that thing back whole for you yes. because you got to be made whole. You got to be made mm -hmm. home for the new people that gotta God is home. going to bring into <laughs> your life. Because if you are not being made whole concerning the love affair, mm -hmm. God says you are being stirring it mm. and denying the power of his love. My God. You're denying the hey, power of his up. love that he is trying to release in your Ooh. life ah. in the name of Jesus. And the Lord says that Ooh, you Lord. need it. You are needed for this people mm -hmm. that he is about to release into your Bless life. Your people, God. Because the people that he's going to release oh, into your Bless life your is going to love you like no other. It's going to love you like no other. And not only he's they're not going to love they not not only is uh not only they gonna love you like no other but the Lord says that his blood that reverse death is going to make it a covenant. My mm -hmm. God it's mm. going to make it a covenant because when you are in a covenant, it covers you. It covers you and it covers the areas of your life from the enemy for putting it to death. From the enemy that is putting it to death. And I decree and I declare that his blood, his blood is bringing, it causes you to have a new covenant. Because that's what the blood is all about. That is the remembrance of his blood. He said, remember this as you drink my blood. Remember this. Yes. And this is a what? The covenant. The covenant. And the Lord is simply saying right now that that is a new covenant that he's about to connect you with. Have your way, and Lord. only the blood, only the blood will keep this covenant. Because without the blood, without the blood, you are my not God. in a covenant. You are in a group. Mm-hmm. That is preparing you for a deadly alliance. Mm. And some of you are, are not in covenants. Y'all in with some deadly alliance. 
they are they they have an agenda they have an agenda concerning your life they got an agenda guess what they got an agenda to keep you from striking that what god has given to you mm-hmm. that's right see see you have been through enough where your hand has been trained mm. you have spent time with god so much that he has trained your hands to battle this situation. <clears throat> and what the enemy does, that when he finds you in a place where you just frustrated, don't understand everything that's going on, guess what? He sends somebody to attack you of that what God has placed in your My Lord. to strike. Speak, Holy Ghost. He has placed in your hand to mm-hmm. strike that. You are in a season to take territory. And Jesus. so what God is doing right now, and as the people are listening to me, what the Lord is trying to do right now is that he's trying to reverse that, what has been after you, what has been after your birth, what has been after your new birth, what has been after your new transition, what has been after of that what you trying to collect. My Lord. Be God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I hope the people are here what the mm-hmm. Spirit of God is mm-hmm. saying to you all on tonight. Because sturbiness must die. Must tonight. die. Sturbiness must die tonight. Jesus. Because if sturbiness don't die tonight, Ooh. how you would be well established, how you would be able to experience growth in the areas of your life, how you will be able to take this authority, to take territory in another dimension. How you would be able to do those things My Lord. and not have in the power of God. Somebody is going to be made whole tonight mm-hmm. because you yes. are willing. You are willing. I'm telling you, you are willing right now to be transformed into the likeness mm-hmm. of God. And that you are here to return to this place called the Spirit of God. Mm-hmm. And that you have decided yes, and make up your mind mm-hmm. that you're going to carry this instruction. Because why? That is power in carrying mm-hmm. and obeying the instructions of God. My God. And I'm here to tell you right now, the instructions of God says that I need you to be made whole for this next move of me. I need you to be made whole Speak, in Lord. your mind. So that you will distinguish, so you will discern that that is the form of God and deny his power. Mm -hmm. Because some of you all are walking into a new place and it's just a new place, but Mm -hmm. it's not of God. Because why? Because (laughs) you got to walk into a place where the power of God is manifested. And the salvation of God, my God, the salvation of God will cause you to take the million of that what belongs to you. Jesus. And let me just prophesy this to you, that taking what belongs to you is being able to live to see the manifestation of God. My God. Because some of you all don't feel like that. Mm-hmm. And some of you all are not thinking like that. Speak, but Lord. let me just encourage you tonight Power that to the blood God. of Jesus Christ is yes. reversing death that has been contemplated on your mind. Yes, there are some of you are on here saying that, yes, I might as well die, Lord. I might as well die. It is better to die than to live through this hell. But the Lord is saying right now that sturbiness is breaking off your mm-hmm. mindset because you're going to be able to distinguish that your lifestyle is going to live it out. Whatever that you have in your hands, you're going to strike it. And the okay. power of God is going to flow through you like never before. And anything that is of death that is coming in, Jesus. I decree that I declare right now. Yes, that God. the blood of Jesus Christ in right the now, name of Jesus that is right running now. on, yeah, that is no, running no, on see. right now. And that it is the power of it to save, yeah, to God. redeem. And to purify you though tonight. Right now. I'm here to tell you right now that it's reversing it. It is reversing it right now. It is bringing life to death. What it is a pure. And not what is a pure. But death that is from God. That is giving you life. It's manifesting right now. 
in the name of Ooh, Jesus. God, First Peter 1, 18 through 19. Yeah, it God. says here, for you know that it was yes, not Lord Jesus. what perishing things such as silver or gold mm-hmm. that you were redeemed from the empty way of life Ooh, handed Lord. down to you Thank for you. your ancestors. But it was the what? Precious blood of mm-hmm. Christ. The and blood the of Christ. was without blemish and defeat. It was not the empty way of life handed down. It was not the silver to gold, but it was the precious blood of Christ. Yes, Lord. It was the precious blood of Christ that redeeming you tonight. And it's redeeming you back into a place back. that you're about to get ready to yeah, no, no, my see. Yeah, God. How many of y'all Do believe it, that the blood of Jesus Christ is redeeming you back into the oh, place? Oh, God, redeem you your people back tonight. tonight. And you will cross over. You will cross over into a place that is going to set you up for something that is beyond your imagination. Not only that is beyond your imagination, but guess what's going to happen? Guess what's going to happen? The stubbornness that has been chasing you, that has been after you, that has been after the plans, that has been after the dream that you are getting ready to birth out. That has been after that what you're trying to do that is impacting others life. God says it's done tonight. It's done My tonight. Lord. Ephesians 1 and 7. In him we have redemption through his blood. Yes, God. The forgiveness of sins in accordance with the riches of God's grace. I decree to declare that the spirit of Pharaoh's stubbornness yeah, died tonight in Jesus' name. And the blood. Ooh. And the blood, according yeah, to God. God's grace that is on your life, is redeeming you. It is redeeming the identity yeah, of you. It is redeeming the identity of you. And I decree, and I declare that right now, in the name of Jesus, I'm here to tell you right now that your livestock, that everything that you have been planning, that is of God, that is of God, everything. you will see it manifested in a way in a way that you have never seen it before because why it is god's power that is about to get ready to happen it's about to get it to happen to you it's about to get it to be demonstrated to you and what you have to understand this spirit called stubbornness it comes from the hebrew word sorrow meaning in rebellious or revolters among rebellious See, what it is, is it is stubbornness that will lead to an end, like I said, to an end of disgrace and to an end of unexpected. Mm. Meaning that stubbornness can work in many ways. Like I said, it can work in a way when you doubt God's power. And that's why he got mad at Moses, because Moses was going to start be stubborn mm-hmm. about God's power. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> it's right in the instructions. And that's why God God was going to leave Moses alone. That's, that's why right. he got angry. That's right, prophet. God, listen. <laughs> God is a righteous. Mm-hmm. Listen, listen, <laughs> listen. His indication is so righteous. His indignation is so righteous. Hear God. But at that point, he got mad at Moses. Because I mm. figured it out now that Moses was about to be stirring with God's power. And that's why he got angry. Mm. That's why he got that's angry. Why. What it does, it not only leads you to <laughs> an end of disgrace, but it leads you to the end of death. Okay, check this out. Remember that God allowed an Israel evil spirit to come upon Saul. Mm-hmm. And so what that evil spirit led him, it led him, it led Saul to fall on his own sword. Mm-hmm. Remember, God let this evil spirit take over. Mm-hmm. Because why? God doesn't deal with stubbornness. He doesn't deal with stubbornness. And I ghost. say this all the time. And that, and, and, and when you're dealing <laughs> with rebellion, what God does is that he turned you over to a reprobate man. My, I just said that what? the other day. Probably. Guess what? Guess what? Uh, 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 uh. 
you allow your mind to be carnality. And when you're dealing with carnality, catch this, when you're dealing with carnality, you will be so double-minded mm, 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 <laughs> that mm, you mm. will not understand or be aware of God's power. Ooh. Guess what? Check this. That work is in repentance, my God. That's good. How bad <laughs> that can get, y'all? How bad that can get? He will allow you to be carnality to the point that you will deny the power that work in repentance, my mm. God. Woo, that's powerful right there. <laughs> my God, my God. Mm. And, 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 and y'all, listen, you all saying that, you all saying that, uh, you, you all saying that, Lord, I'm not experienced the power of healing. Because why? Because you have been denied the power of repentance. My Lord. And God had allowed you Just to said that last through week. this penality mm. where you've been angry at God. You've been angry at God. Because the day back, Moses was getting frustrated. That's all be real. Moses was getting frustrated. <laughs> and God said, did I tell you? <laughs> did I tell you? Is it God's word enough? Mm. Wow. Isn't it enough that his power is already manifesting in your life? Listen, people of God, listen. Woo. Is it already manifesting? Mm, 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 mm. So you need to examine yourself tonight. My God. Is it a simple fact yeah, no, no, that I'm not experienced the power of healing because I'm in the carnality mm. of denying the power of repentance? I'm denying the, rep- the power of repentance. My God, my God. Mm. Denying that's the power why, that's of repentance. Why Paul said, it is a, it, 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 that's why he said, mm. I'm not ashamed to preach the gospel. It is the power unto what? Salvation. Woo. Wow. Salvation. Wow. Salvation. Wow. Salvation. Wow. Salvation. Wow. 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 Good word. <laughs> Salvation ain't for the, ain't for the uh, uh, unrighteous. Come on. Salvation ain't for the unrighteous. That's right. Some of you all need salvation in your mind right now. Because some of you are, are in canality right now. And that's why you are not experiencing the Holy healing Ghost. power of God. Oh, because you are denying God. the power of repentance. My, My God. God. Mm. And that's what Moses had to remind concerning the miracles of God. Mm-hmm. And, uh, uh, and and then we fed a flow prophetically. Because I believe people want their deliverance. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I, I think they people want to stop the denying the power of God mm-hmm. in the instructions. Come on, prophet. Life. That's right. You believe that prophet is coming. Yes, I believe that. You believe that prophet is I believe coming. that. I believe that. It's time. I, it's, people are going to start denying the power. Yes. If you want to see yourself crossing over in this season or into your next. <laughs> my God, my that God. That is going to come tonight. Denying the power of God. Hmm. And prophecies come, I'm going to release this to you. God can do and release you an instruction that not only that people is going to obey it, but it's going to bless your life. That's why I just heard for you. My Lord, I receive it. I receive it. God is, while, while I'm ministering in the spirit mm-hmm. prophetically, God is going to speak that word. And God said, don't you hold that back. Mm. Don't you hold it back. If you got to release it between time, you release it. Mm-hmm. And it's up to people. And not only is it, it's not going to be up to the people, you, that blood is going to be off your hands. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Amen. I receive Let me it. read the scripture. Yes, Lord. Exodus mm. 10, 1 to 2. Then the Lord said to Moses, go to Pharaoh. I have made him. And his official stirring mm. so that I can do these miraculous signs among them. You will be able to tell your children and grandchildren exactly how I treated the Egyptians and what miraculous signs I did among them. This is how you will all know that I am the Lord. See, you know what I like about God? And that's why I can hold on to his promise. Mm -hmm. His promise can manifest Mm -hmm. without a testimony. Mm -hmm. Let me say it again. His promise cannot manifest in your life without a testimony. Yes. Amen. 
Oh, God. Mm. Oh, God. Wow. And, 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 <clears throat> Holy Ghost. <laughs> God is full of it. God is full of it. Let me tell you this, y'all. Let me tell you this, y'all. My Lord. Even though Pharaoh was stirring, because of God's grace, God would do enough for you. He would do enough for you to allow the time to change. Wow. So you can have a testimony. It's powerful. And because he loves you, <laughs> he desires you to see Satan so much yeah, God. to fail in his own work. Mm. 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 Only the blood, listen, only the blood mm. can reverse evil against Satan himself. Now, prophet, <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Only the blood. <laughs> that's why the that's why the Bible says in Revelation. That's why the Bible says Revelation that overcame the works and power of Satan because the blood of the Lamb. Yes. And the word of that testimony. Ooh. Even the word of your testimony. See, promise cannot be fulfilled without the testimony because you know why. Because it is God's power to complete. <laughs> The promise, the blessing over your life. That it would just not only be mm -hmm, temporary, mm -hmm. but it Permanent. would be everlasting. My God. Somebody need to receive the that. <laughs> of him making you rich and ass, no sorrow. Somebody receive that. Mm. Woo. And the Lord. <laughs> hey, glory. I feel his glory I, tonight. I, 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 oh, I no, need no, no. to catch this. The Lord allow your enemies to be around. He allowed them to be around you because of the simple fact <laughs> what they tried to do to you that is not only have blesses you, but God will brush that down upon them. And now they're going through them. Let me just prophesy to you. Prophesy, okay. prophet. Mm. Let me just prophesy oh, to you. God is reversing everything, not only the stubbornness that has been happening, but God says that you're about to get ready to see the complete and why you have to go through this and why you have to fight through this. It because, it because what he has placed in you. What he has placed in you. That's why he said to Lisa. That allow the enemy to see ah, that it is sister. God's power that complete that what he has given to you. Mm -hmm. And the enemy cannot do nothing That's about right. it. Because That's you're right. about to get ready to testify <laughs> That's now. right. You're about to get ready <laughs> to impact lives right now. Test this. You're about to get ready to be blessed Ooh. by other people. Oh, bless it now, Sunday. And, and, and catch this. And catch oh, this. Da, 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 da. Listen, listen. Mm. Pharaoh bless it. Pharaoh bless it the people. Because you know why? He released them. He told Moses, Moses, just go ahead, Moses. Just, just go ahead. 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 And if your ways pleases him tonight, guess what? Guess what? Woo. That's why your enemy will make peace with you. Ah, your yeah, enemy shit. will make peace enough that they see God's power working through you. Mm -hmm. And what they try to do now, they are in disgrace. And not only they're in disgrace, oh but let me just tell you this. That will bless you. They will bless you in order to have a peace of mind mm. concerning what God has released to them. Because you know why? Saul, Saul had to deal with that thing until mm -hmm. he died. He had to deal with that thing until he died. My God. And guess he what? He totally goes. Guess what? Because 
because he failed in his own plan. He told David, he told David, now I know that God has appointed you and anointed you mm. as king. Somebody received that. <laughs>
even disturbing it that has been happening in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is reversing it. The blood of Jesus is reversing it. Michelle Washington. Michelle Washington. Michelle Washington. Let me release this over your life. Cry loud and spare not. The Lord says tonight before you go to bed, he says cry out loud because there is a shift that's going to take place and it's going to change your whole trajectory and the atmosphere concerning what has not been clear to you. The Lord says that Release it right now in the name release of it, Jesus. Michelle. Release yes, it right release now. It, release it. Release because it. Because there is something that is going oh, to be reversed that has been keeping you from operating in that which God has pre uh, uh, ordained in your life in the name of Jesus. And I'm speaking to Michelle. I'm talking to uh, uh, what's her name? Uh, Michelle Washington. Yeah, Michelle Washington. Mm -hmm. Michelle Washington. Because I see, I see in the spirit, I see in the spirit through all the stuff that have been happening in your mind. It has been cutting you short, especially your voice, away from God. And the Lord is simply saying that your breakthrough is in the release on tonight. And it's going to change your atmosphere. And once it change your atmosphere, the Lord says that you will understand that it is the power of God that has been released upon you, that has overcome over death, that the enemy has spoke to you, which is lies, which is deception. And the Lord says that it's going to overcome that because of your mind being redeemed on tonight. And because of your mind being redeemed on tonight, the Lord says that you can go forth in that what God has called you to be. In the name of Jesus. In the name Set of the Jesus. the spirit of the living God. And yes, I'm speaking God. this to Michelle Washington. Yeah, God. Father God, God, we thank you on tonight. Yeah, God. Hallelujah. We thank you for this word. That, oh, Lord, God. that you're breaking the back of storminess. Yeah, and that, Father, God. that you're swatting mm. out. Your power is swatting up. And Father, in the name of Jesus, yes, Father, I thank you right now. Right now, God. That people on here on tonight, Father. Yeah, God. That Lord, that their mindsets are being redeemed. Ooh. Their mindsets yeah. are being redeemed. Do it, Lord. Because Father, they're going to stop denying the power of you. Because denying the power of you, Father, will cause them to enter into a state of a reprobated man. Yeah, and when they come to the reprobated man, Father, oh, you leave them alone. And Father, we, we, we don't want yeah, that, Father. Yosha. We don't want that. Because Lord, oh, if you leave Yosha. us alone, it's going to lead oh, us to an end Yosha. of disappointment. It's going to lead yeah, us da, da, into an end yeah, of trap. It's going to lead us to an end of disgrace. And sure enough, Father, it's going to lead us to oh, death. God, have mercy. Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, we do not want to be like Saul, that that reprobated man said would leave us to our own death. We'll put our own self in that. And so, Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you that we're not going to be disturbing this concerning the power of you. But, Father, we are going to walk in the instruction that you have given to us. And Father, in the name of Jesus, and Lord, as you said in Exodus 10 and 1 and 2, I decree and declare right now that every miracle of work that is happening for the people right now, that is a miracle sign of clarification that people are going to receive on tonight. Yes, Lord. And it's going to manifest on their life on tonight in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And Father, we give you the glory. And we give you the honor yes, and God. we give you the praise and we thank you, Father. Prophet, hallelujah. Prophet, I wanted to ask, yes, I, I know you're flowing. Right now, I feel. Yes, I know you're flowing, right Prophet. Now that the power of God is, is, is happening right now. The power of God is happening right now. Yeah, God. And the opportunity, the opportunity is in God's salvation. 
that has provided the access for you to be able to come into a new place in your mindset. Hallelujah. And so I need everyone to pray in the Holy Spirit right now because God is doing something on tonight. Yes. Yes, God. Right now in the name of Jesus. Yes, God. One thing that God was concerned about the Israelites was them to return back to him and worshiping him. Worshiping him. That's what God wants the people on tonight in yes. order to have this access is to be able to worship him. Yes, yes. To be yes. able to worship him. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. Access, the access of God is for you to be yes. able to be at a place <clears throat> where you begin to operate mm-hmm. in the supernatural, okay? Mm-hmm. In the supernatural. You do not need to dwell in the access, <laughs> but you need to go all the way into the place yeah, where no, no, no. Okay. in the supernatural, okay? <clears throat> so let me say this right now. Let me say this right now. The only way you can enter to that place is that you got to have faith. Yes, God. You got to believe in God's power on tonight. You got to believe in God's power on tonight. Yes. Because people will stay in a place where, Lord, Lord, I need the access. I need the access. And see, the access is for us to keep it moving. It's to keep it moving. Yes, God. Some of us want to stay in a place of access. They want to stay in a place of access because in a place of access can be a place of the form of things. Mm. And God says that He giving you the access so you can move forward That's into right. the place of the supernatural. And God says that He mm-hmm. needs you all to have faith. He doesn't just need you concerning the access, yes. but He needs you are to have faith have to faith. be able to go to that place and God says on tonight he yeah, says God. you are oh, on tonight God. that in order to operate with this in order to operate oh. in this God says that this is why that you need to worship him mm-hmm. you need to worship him right now right now you need to worship him right now because this is a part right of now faith. This is a part of yeah, your God, faith right, now. right here. We that worship you, Lord. When you worship him. When yeah, you God. worship we him. We honor you, God. When you worship him. We if you have faith Hallelujah. with him, worship him now. Worship him now. Worship him now. This is part of your faith. Worship him now. Because you have to worship him in a place where you don't understand. Job began to worship him when he didn't understand when things started to take it away from him. Especially when his churches was taken away. And you believe God tonight. Worship him tonight. Worship him tonight. I need you to worship him tonight. Worship, 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 worship. Yes, God. In the name of Jesus. Shoddy Wilson. Shoddy Wilson. Say yes. Say yes. And prophetess, uh, prophetess, uh, Carmel. Yes. Uh, 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 the Lord revealed this word to me to you, and um, I'm gonna wait till I get through. Okay. I'm listen to you, and the same word is 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 basically for Charlotte Wilson. Charlotte Wilson, just say yes, uh, woman of God. Just say yes, woman of God. Just say yes, woman of God. Everyone pray in the Holy Spirit. Yes, God. Oh, it's all about the Lord tonight. Yes, God. His blood yes, God. is redeeming us. Yes, we cannot forget about the blood. We cannot be whole without the blood. Yes, Lord. Yes, God. Worship, worship, worship. I right need now. everyone to worship. I need yes, everyone. God. I yes, see God. you, woman of God. I see you now. The Lord says that there is an ease. There is a spirit of ease that is coming upon you in the name of Jesus. Uh, the Lord says, consider it not strange. Consider it not strange where people don't have much to say concerning the gift that resides in you. 
the Lord says, consider it not strange. Because when people are not speaking directly towards the gifts of you, the Lord says that it will not, it will not crowd your mind concerning the mindset that he has given you and concerning his word that has spoken to you, that's given you power to be able to overcome that, that is not aligned concerning what he has placed in your life. Let me say this again to you, Charlotte Wilson. He said, considering it not strange when people are not saying much concerning your gifts or have anything, don't have anything to say about that. But woman of God, I decree and declare over your life right now. The Lord says that if your ways pleasing him by staying in your lane, the Lord says that not only that you will stay your yeah, gifts and peace with you and concerning who you are and concerning what you are doing, yes, but Lord. the Lord says that yeah, you will did, 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 oh, shut. in peace concerning the other things that you have been contemplating, that you have been seeking God about it and have not received any answer. My Lord, Lord bless the God. That you will have peace. Check this. The Ooh. peace of God is going to give you access to your yes, next. It's going to give you access to your new thing. And the Lord says that to get ready, woman of God, that as you get ready to have access to this, the Lord says that as you move forward, that everything that's pertaining, that is good of you, and that it is a, a, a that is a, a, an abundance in your life, the Lord simply said that it's going to align with you. It's going to catch up with you. It's going to follow with you. There are even some good things that you have asked God about. I see this in the spirit. There were some good things that you asked God about that you have to get about. It. And not only that you have to get about it, that you don't, that God wasn't going to do. But let me tell you, woman of God, as you move forward, as you stand in your lane to move forward, and as the peace is giving you the access to receive the good that's about to happen, I decree and I declare right now that every good thing pertaining to you is about to catch up on you. It's about to catch up on you in the name of Jesus. The Lord says that to get ready, get ready for time making up. Time making up for the good to happen. Time making up for the good to happen. And the Lord, and that's why I hear the Lord say, as 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 this happened, the Lord says that that as you started to make up, uh, as you started to make up time for this, the Lord says that you are not going to have time for those that has been putting you away from this that has been uh, that has been going on in your spirit, or that you about to burst out in this season in the name of Jesus. Yes, this is the Lord's doing. And the Lord says, as you're making up time for the good, God says that you want to know and understand that you are not going to have time for those <laughs> that have not been a blessing to you, that have not been pouring into you. Guess what? They have, they have been saying less. They have been saying less words than the words that God has given to them, my God, in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And the Lord says that you will know that this is his doing. Because you are yes, making up time for good to catch up with you. My Lord. And those that have not been good to you, <laughs> you ain't going to have time for them no more. And God says that you shall have peace. That you shall have this access. <laughs> As you stay in your lane, God says, this Holy Ghost. For you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of the Jesus. Of the living God. And this was for Ooh, bless her Lord. Yeah, God. Bless her Jesus. Asia Jones. Asia Jones. I hear the word of the Lord say bless that God. travel. <laughs> that travel. That travel is going to happen for you. Your gifts and the glory of God is going to make rooms for you to travel yeah, in God. this new season that is coming up. I just heard that. Traveling. I heard that traveling Asia Jones. is going to happen for you. It's <laughs> going to happen for you. The Lord is simply saying mm. that Satan's weapon, Satan's weapon against you, 
it's going to cause your mind to be idle. Or let me just go and say it. He wants your mind to be carnality concerning the promise of God that has been spoken over your life. And concerning questions, concerning the major things that God has spoken to you. I'm not just talking about the other things. God knows that. But the major things, the major things, those things that you consider major to God. And, 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 and catch this. What, what the major thing that you ask for God is not too major for him to do. <laughs> it's not too major for him to do. And the Lord is encouraging you. The Lord is encouraging you. He said, my child, those things that you have thought that was major for me to do. It's not major for me. You don't do it. And the Lord says, <laughs> The Lord says that Woo. that His glory and your gifts is going to make rooms for yeah, you God. to travel in this new season. Let me say this: the enemy's weapon to us and against you is for you to be carnality enough to forget the promise of God, and not only so much the promise of God, but the power of it that's going to uh, bring a testimony for you. You have been through so much, and especially, I see in the spirit that you have wasted a lot, especially a time frame, mm -hmm. a time frame where you <laughs> was trying to work concerning the goals and concerning the plans Speak, Lord. that was going to please God mm. and not want to please God, but it was a part of the vision that you was going to run with. And that you have put it to the side. That's you have word. put it to the side where everything has started to occupy with you. And yes, especially God. your mindset that the enemy was trying to oppress you with. But let me just encourage you right now. And there I heard God. the word of the Lord say that your gifts and that his glory is making rules for you to travel. Yeah, and so yeah. I decree to declare this to you, Asia Jones, that you will travel. <laughs> and not that you will travel, but you will travel with a testimony. You will travel with a powerful testimony. Hallelujah. Because of the power of God that is flowing or that's about Hallelujah. to flow in your life. And oh, he glory. is redeeming. He's redeeming death. What he has called you to do to bring forth life into others that you want to connect with in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Of the living yes, God. God. And this was for Asia Jones. Yes, Lord. Everyone is still praying by the Holy e Spirit. Christopher e God. Lee, I don't know who you are, brother, but you've been putting on me tonight. <laughs> Bless him, Lord. Christopher Lee, I don't know who you are. Bless him, Jesus. But you have been pointing. Oh, on. bless him, Lord. Oh, God. Bless him, Jesus. Increase. Increase is coming upon you. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> but when I see you, man of God, I see you as a great influencer. I see you as a great influence, man of, man of God. I don't know who you are. But I see that in the spirit. The first day I saw you was leadership. And God says that, that the increase of great leadership is coming upon you. You're going to be a great influence that is going to spread. It's going to spread in other places, man of God. I don't know who you are, but you've been putting on me. Tonight. Bless him, Jesus. You've been putting on me. I don't know who hey, you God. are, but you've been putting on me. And I hear the Lord saying, I hear the Lord saying that the works, you're going to see works. As, as as you strike, that's right here. God said the words that He gave it to you, it has placed in your hands. The Lord says that that His power that is working in you, and whatever that you go to, you will take dominion, or you will take the territory with that that God has given to you, because the Lord says that it will respond. It will respond to Jesus. everything. It will respond to everything of the will of God that is for your life. And this is what I hear God says, that he will cause stubbornness, my God. He hmm. will cause stubbornness to become powerless so it can bless your life. I decree and I declare 
right now in the name of Jesus that nothing, that nothing insignificant, nothing insignificant about you will not oppress your mindset. But the Lord says that the, the increase of great affluence, of great leadership is about to happen to you, man. My Lord. I don't know who you are, but this increase is going <laughs> to cause us to spread in other places, there in God. other nations. And the Lord says that the work that he has released in you, yes, you Lord. will see the power of God oh, God as you God. obey him. And that it will take territory and it will cause us that. Man of God, oh, glory. It. It will Hallelujah. Cause us to render powerless and cause us the blessings that happen to right you. Right now, Father. So why the blood in of the Jesus name of Jesus, reverse, yes, God. It will reverse that. It will reverse that evil thing that is trying to kill you. Yes, Lord. And the Lord says that. that it's going to happen right now. And you're going to see this oh, happening yes, in this yes, decade. Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Stand Jesus. The spirit of the living God. Man of God, I see. I'm telling you, man of God, I don't know who you Bless are. You are putting on me. But I see great. And my God, my God, my God. over your life, and the increase of it is about to happen for you in yes, the name Lord. of Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Uh, Cynthia Marie, Cynthia, Cynthia Marie, say yes, woman of God. That is anointing on your life, woman of God. I see the anointing all over your life, <clears throat> Cynthia. I need you to respond back to me. I, I, I need you to respond back yes, to me. Yes, God. Because I need you to get ready to go on a constitution. I see yes. Mm-hmm. Woman of God, I see the anointing on your life. I don't know if you operate in this, but I'm trying to tell you right now, you're mm-hmm. a prophet. You are a prophet. Cynthia, you are a prophet. And the Lord says that there are some downloads that he's going to give to you as it relates in the prophetic. This is what I hear God saying, and I need you to take this instruction, woman of God. God wants you to go uh, 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 go into an unusual concentration. He wants you to go into an unusual concentration. Because this anointing is so heavy on your life. Woman of God, I don't know who you are, but you are a prophet. You are a prophet. You are a prophet. Bless the Lord. And you are carrying God's glory heavy. You are carrying God's glory heavy because you have been fighting in the spirit. Am I lying, woman of God? (laughs) I can speak for you. You're not lying. lying, You're not lying at all. And before the witness, before the witness of faith and the witness of the Holy Spirit, I'm going to repent. No, you're not lying. Woman of God. Because I need I need everyone to see the power of God working. And even the power of God is in repentance. (laughs) Yes. Liz, she said no. She said no. She said, no, I'm not lying. No, you're not lying. And woman of God, the Lord said this unusual <laughs> concentration yeah, God. is going to release some downloads in you concerning not only your next, but you're going to walk in the dimension. You're going to walk in the dimension of that that God has called you to be. Yes, God. Let me tell you this, woman of God. Because when people, I see this in the spirit, the Lord just revealed, revealed this in the spirit, man. People, people have been looking at you concerning your appearance. They have been attached to you concerning your appearance. But they have not connected to your anointing. Because mm. see, your anointing, Bless the Lord. Appearance. Yeah. anointing makes you ugly. It <laughs> ain't nothing ugly for you to go through hell. To go through hell. Hey, <laughs> listen. I mean, I mean, let me just say that. It ain't 
not pretty when you're going through stuff. And nothing pretty when you're going through stuff when it comes to the anointing. And see, people that are attached to you because you have this appearance, you have this view, because you dress, because of a certain way you talk, because of a certain way you walk, they are attached to you, but really they're not connected to the anointing. Mm. And see, people confuse the anointing with appearance. Mm -hmm. They are not because they carry the appearance. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, what the Bible says, uh, in Isaiah, uh, 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 the Spirit of the Lord mm -hmm. has anointed me mm -hmm. to preach the gospel. Catch that. The anointing comes from the Spirit of the Lord. Uh huh. And some people that doesn't have the spirit of the Lord cannot recognize the anointing that is on your life, woman of God. Bless the Lord. That's why God says you need to go into this concentration. I'm telling you, I'm telling you by the sound of the spirit of God. My Lord. What he is saying, this is, is mandatory for you in order to walk <laughs> in the dimension, in order for you to fulfill the potentials of God's best in your life that you are a prophet and you are carrying the glory. You are carrying the way of glory. You are anointed yeah, God. for the place that God is about to take you to. And I decree and I declare that over your life, woman of God, in the name of Jesus, that God yeah, is God. separated from those that doesn't have the spirit of the Lord upon their That's life it. because they are not at the level that you are at. Yeah, and God. surely enough, they will not catch you. Mm. They will not catch you at a place yeah, God is taking you to. Yeah. God is going to accelerate you there. Mm. And because the assignment that is My on Lord. your life and because what you are carrying, the Lord said that yeah, it will be made plain once you get to that place. And what I tell you, woman of God, that you are going to be so different. Not only so, uh, and not only so different, but the greater work that you shall do, the Lord says that you shall see the miracles happening like never before. And what the miracles are manifesting when you do these things. This one to bless your life in the oh, name of Jesus. In the name the of Jesus. Of the living God. Yes, and I'm Lord. talking to uh, uh, Cynthia Maria. Yes, Cynthia God. Maria. Cynthia Maria. The Spirit of the Lord is in this Hallelujah. place. Fire is in this room right the now. In the name of Jesus. Bless your people, Lord. Fire is in this room right yeah, now. God. In the name yeah, of God. Jesus. Prophet, can you, that, Prophet? Go ahead. Would you would you be able to release a word over the ministry? Um, a lot of my members are on tonight and covenant partners. Um, I can't name all of them, but a lot of them are on tonight. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. 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 If God gives you a word for the ministry, yes. Yes, Lord. Mm, right now, God. Mm. Yes, Lord. This right here, the word of the Lord. I just heard this. Thank you, Jesus. And, 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 and this is going to come to you. Let me just re release this to you. Uh, uh, Prophetess Carl. And <clears throat> I was, I, when I was thinking about this, I heard the Lord loud and clear. To tell my daughter that she had not denied the power of me working through the assignment that she has been carrying. Yes, God. He says, tell my daughter Thank you, Jesus. that everything that she has done mm -hmm. has been leading to the mark of Christ. The Lord says that there is a weight. You already carry the weight of glory. But there is a weight of oppositions that's going to pull you astray from the lane. Mm. The lane of the momentum that you have been keeping it 
which is all about Jesus. Amen. <clears throat> you have been preaching about the blood. You have been preaching about the redemption. You have been preaching about the repentance. Yes, God. But sometimes it is the way of opposition mm -hmm. that will get in the way. Yes. Uh, that will cause us the, the nature the nature or uh, 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 yeah, the nature of churches, uh, of ministry mm -hmm. when they get back up to be able to speak messages that have not aligned the mark mm -hmm. of Christ. Yes. This is what I hear God saying. My God. And <clears throat> And I want to have one word for the people of God. Your members on here. The Lord says that I have great things in store for the ministry. Yes, God bless you. Baby. For your ministry. I have great things. This is why I hear the Lord say. He said your ministry is about to walk in multiplications. Yeah. Not only with souls, but yes, multiplication Lord. of miracles. He said that the ministry have not yet come into the praise of the manifestation mm. of miracles yet. Mm. But the Lord did say that there are some mindsets in that place. Mm -hmm. There are some mindsets in that place that has to be whole mm -hmm. concerning <laughs> that the message that you preach is about the mark of Jesus Christ and yes, not God. for the mark of Jesus Christ. But the Lord says that yes, it is for them to stay in that name so they can experience the complete yes, greater the complete of greater works yes, God. that's going to work oh, in yes, them. God. And God said when it start working through them that the power of God, yes, God. is going to start to manifest um, it in a way yes, that Lord. people will start to come and not only come yes, but the Lord says that they will start to experience the Lord's doing in this because they're going to start to understand they're going to start to walk in growth hear me the peoples that are under Thomas ministry is that this woman of God has set to be the overseer of those now under her because of the message that she is preaching is it is related to the mark of Christ. And the Lord is simply saying that if you will stay in the lane, you will be able to not only handle the weight of the oppositions, but the words that has been spoken against what is not of the will of God. Mm. That is not Ooh. of the will of God. That you will be able to overcome that. Yeah, in the name of Jesus. Because in the, the reason why Jesus. that you will be able to overcome that. Hey. Is because of your mindset. Oh, cool. Your mindset God. has been redeemed. And not only that your mindset has been redeemed. Yes, Lord. But you have the power. Yes, God. You have the power which is in the mind to have peace. Concerning that what the woman of God is preaching. What the woman of God is pouring yeah, out God. to you, Hallelujah. you will have peace to be able to experience that Thank all you, that Father. God had in store for you. Thank I you, need Lord. you all to hear this. And if you all miss this, just go back to the replay. Thank but you. the Lord is encouraging you tonight, Prophet's coming. And he is encouraging them to continue to stay in your life. Amen. Stay in your lane. The Amen. power <clears throat> is in the instructions. Mm -hmm. Catch that? The power is in the instructions. Yes. Because mm -hmm. if you don't walk in the instructions, mm -hmm. you will not fulfill My God. your potential mm -hmm. as it relates to what God has placed in your hand. And catch this. What God has placed in your hands, prophetess Karma. Yes. It is the people to get into the mindset to see 
that it is God's power that is working in oh, you yes. for them to experience the miracles that is about to happen. Hey, God. Ooh, miracles, yes, Lord. Oh, yes, That's God. why God says that it is people that have not stepped into the miracles yet and because that mindset mm -hmm. has to become whole. Amen. To the point that that staff mm -hmm. that you have in your hand is to take Ooh, your million is to take back the territory. Yes, God. And not only the territory, Ooh, shut but up. it is the power of Ooh, God. Hey, God. That has given you the authority Thank over you, your Jesus. ministry. Mm, my for Lord. the people to stay in that land. Hallelujah. Concerning what you're preaching. Ooh, yeah, God. It's for them to, to, to press towards that mark. Hallelujah. And not only, let me just say that, that not only that you focus on that mark of Christ, mm -hmm. but the miracles that shall mm -hmm. manifest it in their lives. And, and I heard the Lord says that because... They have not tapped into the place of the, some of them have not mm -hmm. tapped into the place of the supernatural. Mm -hmm. It's because not only they deny the power of it, but they have been around, catch this, they have been around so much of the weight of the opposition mm -hmm. that it has become stubbornness. Yes. It has become stubbornness <laughs> yes. upon them. Yes. And so, and so, catch this. Mm. Woo, God. This 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 fat this, this fat hit you. Mm. Those that hold on. Speak, Holy Ghost. Mm. Say, I don't want I don't want to make nobody mad. It's all right, because it's already and happening. They come up to you and say, <laughs> Prophet is coming. <laughs> I don't know what Prophet said you were saying. I don't think that was of God. <laughs> It doesn't matter because you in the vein anyway. <laughs> yes. Well, oh, yes. let me. Uh, uh, what I say is going to confirm something. Mm -hmm. The Pacific, the Pacific that you have been thinking, and you wonder why God, why they not deliver yet, mm. is because. They have been denying the power of God. My Lord. And God left them alone at the same place. My, can you say that last part again? God <laughs> left them at that same place. And because My God. they're in that same place. Confirmation. Guess what? Guess what? Guess Woo. what? They can't come out. They can't come out. Because the power that is working against them is already defeating them. Mm. That's because you're in a place of reprobated man. Holy Ghost. Because, because of who you are and what you're carrying and how much you need the people mm -hmm. to be able to cover you. Mm -hmm. And some of them specifically that you're thinking right now that is not covering you, it's a simply fact they have been denying the power and God left them alone. My God. Complete confirmation, 100%. Wow. Yeah. Amen. And to I'm God saying be this loud and clear. That those, your members, and some of them, that specifically, that you're praying about, and you ask about God, why they not see that the list. Father, let, let me just bring confidence to you. Yes. You, and you already know this. Yes. Who was that that kept praying about God? <laughs> about uh, about why the people was losing the battle. They was losing a battle in the camp. And God came to them and told them, he said, why are you praying for this? Mm -hmm. Why are you praying for this? Because you got sin in your camp. Sin in the camp. You got sin in your camp. My you may not be doing sin, but you ain't sin in your mind. Oh, yeah, definitely. Rebellion. You hit it tonight. <laughs> Stubbornness. You I, hit it. <laughs> I, I didn't want to do this. Coming. This is going to be a night of the prophetic. It is a night of the prophetic. Because <laughs> guess we what? Are, they, we, we now they can repent. We're in the spirit. Stay in the spirit. We're we in the spirit. They can repent now. Because, because you got to understand. Yeah. 
you got to understand where prophets is coming at because prophets is coming have been fighting against the way the opposition my lord because she was beginning to start questioning her integrity <laughs> and the message she been preaching she even fed to say to god god do i got sin in my life i, I know i ain't been no god, I know yeah I of course true. amen <laughs> I know I've been doing wrong, Father. Mm -hmm. I I've been obeying you. Keep when my I hands my clean, Lord. Purify my heart. <laughs> hey, glory to God. Yes, Lord. But y'all, God is explosing this. Yeah. He's explosing this because it's a part of the miracle. Yes, yes. And yes. those I that, that are under you right now. Yes. Right now. God says that as this word is being released, mm -hmm. God says, as he hear your yes, and as he hear your repentance, that not only that you are going to start to walk in dominion concerning the instruction, the assignment that he's given to you. Bless the That's Lord. what I hear the Lord is saying. Okay. He said the stagnation and the delays is going to break off your life. And the Lord it, is Lord. simply saying that deliverance is going to bring fresh air. It's going to mm -hmm. bring new breath mm -hmm. concerning the things that God is going to do yes. for you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I decree and declare, Prophetess Pamela, your ministry will go. And the Lord says, stay in the lane. Keep preaching mm -hmm. that which is lead towards the mark of Christ. Yes. Keep your eye on the mark of Christ. Oh, yes. Continue to keep it. And the Lord says that, the Lord says that not many days, <clears throat> not many days that you will see this weight of opposition, mm -hmm. this starving weight of opposition. Yes. You, the, to the seats. Mm -hmm. Not many days. Not you many days. Yes, God. Do it, Lord. Of it. But the Lord is saying to you, woman of God. My Lord. The Lord is saying this to you. That that the blood which is redeeming and which is going to reverse. The Lord says that it's going to bless you. Catch this. It's going to bless you in a way. It's going to shock you in a way that those that have left but you did not know why they left. It's going to come back and apologize to you. And repent to you. My That's God. why I just heard God say. He said not only the blood. <clears throat> is going to reverse this thing. And reverse the evil that has been against you. But he says. That those people that had left from you. And we already talked about this. They left from you because the ministry, but really that's trying to get close to you. And because they can't get close to you. <laughs> and, 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 and not only this, prophetess come, but those that came halfway with you and they left you and you didn't know why. You, you did not know why. You like, Lord, you even said... <laughs> That's why I hear God saying, prophets come. I guess this or not. God you said what? you had to set a platform for these people that had came halfway with you and they left you. My you even God. set these platforms up. I did. You even have set these platforms up for this yeah. people. Gave them opportunity, left. yes. But the Lord says that those that you did not know, it's going to shock you in a way, but they're going to come back. And wow. Apologize. Amen. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And I decree and declare. And I come to serve notice to the enemy that kill and steal yes. and destroy. That will come against the manifestation over your life, prophet has come. Ah, yeah, and, and, and over death that God has preordained. Because your ministry will be a prophetic ministry. Yes, God. It will be a ministry that is filled with deliverance, that is filled with healing, that is filled with increase, that is filled with the blessings of God, that make it as rich as no sorrow, that is filled 
mm-hmm. that is still yeah. to the dimension that Hallelujah. your ministry is not going to die out. It's not going Hallelujah. to die out. And yeah. what I said to you, woman of God, yes, I want Lord. you to receive this. Yes. Those that started to leave it, mm-hmm. God is removing them so he can bring those that will not deny the power. Ooh. The Hallelujah. The yes, God. In the name of mm. Jesus. In the name I'm of Jesus. Today. Hallelujah. To those mm. to those to uh, the mm. This woman of God. Mm. This woman of God have the staff. Mm. That is filled with the power of God. Mm. That is filled with the power of oh. God. Ooh, shut up. To redeem everything that is in your oh, life through the blood of it. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, did it be For you. And for every area of your life, in the name of Jesus, those that honor you, honor you are prophetess come. I'm a minister to them. She's holding a staff that mm. is going to bring breakthroughs Ooh. into your life. I hear God says this in the next months of the transition and the shifting that shall enter to your ministry, mm. prophetess come. I hear the Lord say is that if they will keep their minds on mm-hmm, them and mm-hmm. on the mark of Christ. Mm-hmm. The Lord says that they will have peace concerning their identity. Mm. They will have peace concerning what's yeah. going on. And if they wait on the Lord Ooh, as no, they no, no, experience no, this uncommon and even the trials no, that no, they're no, going through it. at their home, not mm. only that they sh- uh, not Ooh. only that their hope shall be restored mm. but the lord said that the hope of other things the other good things mm-hmm. that they believe in god for <laughs> shall happen it shall happen <laughs> expeditiously mm. and not for the expeditiously Ooh, but in the abundance Ooh, abundant. in, your life. in the name of jesus in the name of jesus the spirit of the living god hallelujah because you got because you have ah, prophets in your ministry mm-hmm. You have entrepreneurs, you have millionaires, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and guess what? You have people that have the anointing for mm-hmm, deliverance mm-hmm. and healing over their life. And <laughs> yes. the Lord says that they will have access to this supernatural Ooh, and God. this power working in their life. Hey, God. And they will keep their eyes on the mark of Christ. Yes, this Lord. And those that look back Ooh. are not fit for this blessing ah. and this miracle that's Ooh. going to no, no, In the name yeah, of God. Jesus. In and the name of Jesus. word for you we and receive for your it. ministry. I Christ receive it. We receive it. And yes. for those that are under you. In the name of Jesus. Says the spirit Thank you, Jesus. Of the living oh, God. Uh, 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 let me see. Hallelujah. Let me see. I want to pronounce your name right, but I'm about to get ready to mess it up. It's uh, uh, Adenda Simone Lee. Adenda Simone Lee. Yeah, or Athena. Uh, Athena. Yeah. Athena. It's Athena or Athena. Or Athena. Or Athena. Athena. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Athena uh, Simone Lee. You got it. I heard the word of the Lord says that you are... <laughs> An intercessor. And the Lord says, the Lord says that because that you have been secretive with him in this season, God says that he's going to bless you abundantly in the open. God says, blessing you in abundance in the opening. God says that, that you will see to that which is going to yield to the increase that's going to come into your life. You are an intercessor. You are the intercessor that is going to shift territories. And I see now, I see now in the spirit that your prayers has been strange. (laughs) It has been strange. And God says that when it is strange, it is the uncommon power that is flowing in you for the uncommon to happen for you. And Mm. the Lord says that your prayers 
has a value so much that God is going to go back. I see this in the spirit. Oh, God. Ooh, do it for a Lord. Mm. I want to say something, something major that you asked God either 20 years ago or 30 <laughs> years ago. Let me know if I'm lying or not. <laughs> if I'm lying, I'm going to repeat for everyone, before <laughs> this woman of God and before these other witnesses of faith of believers you see that oh god you see that but i need a woman of god to answer this i see this like 20 or 30 years ago you mm -hmm. asked god something major you hitting the nail on the head prophet i, I want to speak for her but she can Good. speak you for herself you see that i i know i know you already know prophet is <laughs> come but I, I just need to see the glory of God mm -hmm. in his own. Place. Yes. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Woman of God. Oh, that that thing in 30 and 20 years ago, God says, not many days is going to manifest. Mm. Woo. So glory. Woo. I decree and I declare right mm. now that you will continue to stay mm. in your posture. Oh, no, no, no. You will stay in your posture. I'm not just talking about mm. prayer and intercession, but in your posture. Ooh, God. You will stay in your posture mm. concerning the manifestation that's mm. about to blow your mind in the name of Jesus. And the Lord says that your prayer, mm. do not change or articulate your prayers the way man wants to hear. <laughs> To God be all of the glory. Um, I'm only going to be about two minutes. And then, Prophet, if the Lord gives you anything else to flow, to prophesy, you have the floor. But I just want to say I thank God for the word tonight. Um, truly confirmation. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Um, a lot that you have spoken tonight, you know, has already been released within our ministry. Um, last week, even on Sunday, you know, um, about Moses and God telling him, you use what's in your hand, you know, take the rod and use it. I mean, it, it's such an awesome, rich word tonight. The teaching was rich, um, Prophet. We thank God for you here at Prophetic Impact Prayer and Word Ministry. Um, I don't connect with a lot of prophets. I don't even call a lot of people prophets, period. You know, unless I know that they really prophesy the word of the Lord and they hear from heaven. So we thank God for you, Prophet Cedric. And um, I see a few of your people on tonight. You know, those that support you and follow your ministry 
Amen. I can see, you know, in the spirit and then some I see in the natural. <laughs> I can see the names. Um, but we thank God for the support. And um, I just want to, um, you know, some people say piggyback, but I want to concur with the word. Yes, Elder Arthena, she crying. I know her personally. She's my oldest son's aunt. And 30 years. Yeah, <laughs> that's about right. Um, yeah, the prayers for the family and just prayers that she has been praying, you know, um, overall, you know, just for her family, um, for the family. And so you touch so many areas tonight. You prophesy accurately, even over my life. Um, my prayer tonight was that my members would be blessed, you know, because I want to just say this while everybody's on the broadcast. Some of you come and some of you go. Some of you, God has told you to connect with this ministry and you have not connected. But you come and you go, you eat every now and then, you come on the broadcast, you don't even greet me, you know, but you want you want to eat and you want a blessing from the Lord. But, you know, there's no honor and there's no respect. So God is shifting that also. Um, but I want to say, yes, yeah, Sister Zia, she says, thank you, Prophet. Great word. Um, that's what I'm saying. Like a lot of people that are really, really in tune with this ministry, that word was for them. And I just bless God. You know, uh, one thing you talked about tonight was the shift. And that's what God gave me. I didn't know if I was going to have any time to talk about it tonight. But, you know, the shift, um, when a shift comes in your life is something major. And then what the Lord also gave me was a paradigm shift, prophet. And I really believe this is what God is saying to you. Um, as you continue to move forward in your prophetic ministry and as you continue to allow God to use you and to avail yourself to him because engagements um, are going to continue. You're going to be, I mean, people are going to find out about you. They're going to hear your name. Um, new people are going to um, inquire about you. Old people are going to inquire about you, prophet. Um, people that are in your life right now, they're thinking of dates and times that they can have you to come and minister. So God, you, you know, God is saying, um, for you, prophet, to continue to avail yourself because your gift is pure. Um, the anointing that's, that rests on your life is pure. You have no motives, no gimmicks, no sk no schisms. And that's why I thank God for you and your life and the oil that's on your life. Um, and I do pray for you. Um, I don't tell people I pray for them unless I'm really praying for them. And so I, we do pray for you here, Prophetic Impact Prayer and Word Ministry. But um, that paradigm shift is getting ready to manifest in your life like never before. It's going to be like a whirlwind. Glory to God. Sabrina, can you get the charger for the um, MacBook for me? It's over there. It's going to be like a whirlwind. Um, it's going to come so quick and so fast. Um, every promise that God has made to you, prophet, is not just going to manifest, but it's going to remain. Mm -hmm. The Lord says every promise, hallelujah, hallelujah, that has been spoken over your life, prophet, is going to remain. You know, sometimes, hallelujah, with the prophet, our waiting seasons are different. The waiting time is different from others. Um, as prophets, our, our struggles are different. Our storms are different. Um, everything that we go through is different and people don't really understand. But prophet, I hear the Lord saying that for your suffering, hallelujah, hallelujah, he's going to give you double. Glory to God, even for the etamasia, hallelujah, even for the, the shame that you have experienced years ago, God says he's going to give you double for your shame. Hallelujah, glory to God. Those that came against you many years ago, 10 years ago, seven years ago, and they really didn't understand your ministry. They called you strange. They called you weird. They said, I don't understand, you know, how he's flowing. Is he really from God? Mm-hmm. And this was about five to 10, I'm sorry, seven to 10 years ago. The Lord, God says he's going to give you double for the shame. You didn't say anything. You just kept saying, God, I know you called me. You didn't, you didn't, you didn't lash back. You could have but you just said, God, I know you called me. And so because you kept moving forward and kept going forward, God says, um, he's going to make your name great. Hallelujah. Hi, did the old shot. He says, he's going to make your name great. Hallelujah. That has never been a prayer of yours. You never said, God, make my name great. You never said, Lord, make me great. But God says he's going to honor you and favor you in such a way that your name is going to be great. Hallelujah. And I hear family. God says he's going to breathe upon the family. Hallelujah. And the Lord says the family that he's going to give you, 
Hallelujah is going to be blessed. Higher did he He said the family he's going to give you is going to be so blessed. Hallelujah. All your prayers, everything that you've been asking God for concerning your wife, concerning children. I hear this. I did your shot. I hear the spirit of the Lord say he's going to give it to you, but double. He's going to give it to you, but greater. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. God's going to favor you. Hallelujah. In such a way. Yes, Lord, I hear you. He says he's going to favor you. Hallelujah. In such a way. Glory to God that people are going to have to say, truly, the Lord is with this man. Truly the Lord, hallelujah, the anointing is on his life. Truly, God is speaking through his vessel. Hallelujah. That's what they're going to have to say concerning you, prophet. Glory to God. And we thank God for you. Hallelujah. And we appreciate you. Hallelujah. Sometimes we don't tell the prophet that we appreciate them enough. You know, a lot of times we take prophets for granted. You know, we take the oil for granted. Ah, you did the old shot. But here in this ministry, we appreciate you, prophet. Hallelujah. And we thank God for your servitude. Hallelujah. May the Lord increase you. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord favor you. Hallelujah. May his face continue to shine upon you in Jesus' mighty name. And we seal this prayer and this prophecy in the blood of Jesus, and we count it done. Higher did the old shot in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, to God be the glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's give God some praise. Hallelujah. Glory, glory. I feel the fire of God. Mm. Hallelujah. I feel, I feel the fire of God. Hallelujah. I said, I feel the fire of God. Hallelujah. God says, I'm breaking through barriers for my people. Hallelujah. He said, the word that he sent tonight has broken through some barriers. Hallelujah. Some of you had obstacles and you had things in the way. And God said, he sent his prophet to literally break through. Hallelujah. Those barriers that were in your life. Mm, my God. Some of you are going to breathe again. Some of you are going to live again. Some of you are going to trust again. The Lord says some of you are going to love again. Hallelujah. But this love, ha, huh? yes, God, I hear you. It's coming straight from above. This love, God is saying, is, is coming pure this time. Hallelujah. Some of you could not love. Mm, hallelujah. Some of you didn't have joy. Some of you didn't have peace up until tonight. He says this word that has come through the mouth of his prophet. Mm -hmm, hallelujah. Has come to break the barrier of the enemy. Hallelujah. The spirit of stubbornness is no more. And God says for me to tell you all, even on tonight, hallelujah. He has sealed some things in the heaven, sister Michelle. He has sealed some things. Hallelujah. He sealed your prayer. Hallelujah. He sealed the word. Hallelujah. He says, he has sealed some things tonight through the mouth of his prophet. So we give God glory, honor, and praise on tonight. Hallelujah. To God be all of the glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm so filled up. Amen. Prophet, I turn it back over to you. If you have something you would like to say on tonight. I, I want to release this word. Uh, I think her Thank name is Amber. Uh, Moyi, if I pronounce her last name, Amma Moyi, but this is what I hear the Lord is saying. Mm. This is what I hear the Lord yeah, is saying. Be, that the Lord says that he's breaking that which is insignificant. And as the Lord says that as he breaks that which is insignificant, especially in your mindset, the Lord says that not only that you will know your identity in him, Bless but the him. Lord says that you will be able to fulfill your potentials in him. That anybody will not overload the things. As I was talking about uh, the spirit of Pharaoh's mm -hmm. overload, it will not. It will not happen to you. Because I see in the spirit that you felt insignificant. You felt insignificant in a way that people was not applying to you. And the reason why that wasn't applauding to you because you are different and set apart from them. And the Lord says that you are set apart to fulfill that what he has purpose for you to fulfill. I'm looking at the number. I'm looking at your age. You're either in your early 30s or coming to your 30s between your early 30s or 35. That's what I see in the spirit realm. And the Lord says 
that. The Lord says that you're about to experience, you're about to experience, or let me just say, you're about, yeah, you're about to experience or tap into a place where God is going to begin to show you things that have not happened to others that be around you. But he's revealing it to you because you have the heart to tap and go deeper into God. And that you are willing to do that which is of God. And I decree and I declare right now in the name of Jesus that the Lord, that the Lord, yes, God, bless the Lord, that the Lord is simply taking you out of that which is insignificant. Woman of God, I know this word is for you. I know this word of God is for you because the Lord says that I'm breaking the insignificance of your life. My and Lord. the Lord is breaking the insignificance that has been in your mind. Do it, God. And the Lord says that you're getting ready to tap into a place where you're going to know the things of God so My God. you can fulfill your potentials in Him. Yes, and the Lord. things that He has revealed to others and shown to others and did to others, ah, he, he have not done it to them. But God says, only oh, you going to reveal it to them? Yeah, and this is what I hear God saying. And God says that, God says that he's going to bring you around to people as you release that word to them. And they're going to be like, God, why you didn't reveal that to me? Why? <laughs> why I don't flow in that thing like that? It's because that you was willing to tap into that place mm -hmm. because you're spending oh, time with God. Gosh. And that you are understanding everything hey, no, no, no. that is not wisdom, and, hmm. and, and, and you are understanding that which is of drunk, which is of drunk. And so I speak this to you, Am uh, 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 Moji, that God is bringing you to that place in the mm -hmm. name of Jesus. In the name he's of Jesus. bringing you to that place where He's going to show you some things. He's going to show you some things. And he's going to bless you. But he is breaking the insignificance that has been in your mind. And that those that had causes you, that had causes you to feel insignificant in a way that you, he's going to place you into people that you're going to speak into their life. That is true. And they're going to wonder how you know that. But it's all God that is working through you. Yeah, and they reveal that to you because you're willing to go into that deep place of him. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Holy Ghost. Says the Spirit Lord. of the Living God. Oh, That's God. it. That's it, woman of God. Amen. Amen. We truly bless the Lord tonight. Thank you all for taking the time to join a night of the prophetic. Amen. Prophet Cedric, if you would come back, I'm not going to say next Friday, <laughs> but another Friday, you Amen. know, another Friday Amen. night to Amen. bless us. We would truly be honored, you know, to have you come back again. Amen. I'm going to ask those of you who can, this is a time where everybody can participate. Amen. We want to be a blessing to the prophet. Amen. He didn't ask for anything. Glory to God. When I asked him to come on and speak for tonight and release the word of the lord but we want to be a blessing to him amen so i'm going to ask those of you who can all of you who can if you would just join me with a 21 dollar seed tonight amen i'm going to sow into the prophet as well i'm going to double my seed um <laughs> that's just the season that i'm in right now i may just triple it i don't know whatever god tells me to do that's what i'm going to do but i need you all to stand with me um tonight with the 21 dollars seed if you can those of you who can amen if you can't sow a 21 dollars seed the closest you can get to a 21 dollars seed would be great some of you can sow over 21 dollars some of you can sow 121 to be honest some of you can sow a 500 dollars seed tonight let's just be real with the holy ghost amen glory to god as God has blessed you, as God has prospered you, be a blessing tonight, amen, to the kingdom of God and God's servant, amen. Those of you that are going to be sowing tonight, the ministry cash app is PIPW ministry. Uh, once again, is PIPW ministry. It is in the caption for those of you who cannot um, see the, ca the, the, um, the, the, 
the cash app or the paypal that is pinned i believe i pinned it but i don't see it here um but i want to say to you all those that want to sow can sow on paypal.me slash prophetic impact amen just a 21 dollars seed tonight amen thank you sister michelle amen the seeds are coming in we're getting ready to pray over every seed i'm going to ask if prophet would just come back amen and bless you all that are going to be sowing on tonight um into the kingdom of god and once again we thank god amen oh it is, it is pen sister lisa thank you thank you because i can't see it on this end but we truly bless the lord amen um one thing I could truly say, the word of God stands. Amen. When God says, um, you know, bless the prophet in the name of a prophet, you shall receive a prophet's reward. Amen. So let's be a blessing to the prophet tonight and let's sow into him. Amen. One thing that I stress here in this ministry, um, like I said, some of you come, you eat and you run, um, you don't plant, you know, and that's why you have not seen a harvest in your life. I'm just going to be real. Um, this season, hallelujah. The season that God has me in, I can't hold back his word. We're in the last and evil days um time is winding up amen so the preacher the pastor the apostle the prophet you know is not going to sugarcoat god's word any longer the word is just going to come straight forward is either you receive it you know or you don't but um the body of christ has to get to a place of giving amen it's a must and some of you yes lord i hear you some of you need to sow out of what you're in I hear the spirit of the Lord saying, some of you are in situations, you're in struggles, you're in things that only God can bring you out of. Amen. And so God is saying, even on tonight, some of you need to sow your way out. Glory to God. So if you can sow more than a $21 seed to God, be the glory. And we thank you for your giving tonight. Amen. As I've said, I'm going to sow into the prophet. I'm not going to do anything. Um, you know, I'm going to do exactly what I'm asking you all to do, but even above that. So I'm going to ask also if our ministers tonight, those of you that are called by God, um, any pastors, any apostles that are um, watching tonight, if you would just join me uh, with a double seed of 21, so that would be 42. Amen. Those of you who can. All right. Come on. I want to challenge you tonight. Amen. I want to challenge you in your giving um, because when you are challenged in your giving, what happens is you're going to um, be challenged also in your thinking. God's going to open up your mindset because in order to give, it, it has to come from the heart. And a lot of times people don't give, they don't sow, and their hands are like this. Your hands are balled up, and nothing can come in, and nothing can go out. Amen. So I'm asking you all just to be generous tonight in your giving. Um, bless the Lord, and God will bless you in return. Amen. Sister Carmen says, yes, I'll be sowing after the broadcast, after my phone. Um, I can't do it now. Thank you, Sister Carmen. Amen. She's one of our faithful givers in our ministry. She joined the ministry a few months ago. Amen. And we thank God for her. Amen. I thank God for all the members and covenant partners tonight. Amen. Sister Robin says, I was on long tonight, but I was blessed. I honestly don't have it tonight. Can I sow this week? Sure. Sure. Whenever the Lord places it upon your heart, woman of God, sow your seed and name it a night of the prophetic. All right. And so I'll make sure that the prophet gets that seed. Amen. To God be the glory. Sister Amber says she sowed. Sister Kashina says she sowed. Thank you all. Amen. I'm going to bless the prophet after the broadcast. We're going to send it right directly to him. Amen. Um, but we thank God tonight. Were you all blessed tonight? Were you all blessed? Were you encouraged? Amen. Hallelujah. Were you encouraged? Listen, if the word was confirmation, just type confirmation. Excuse me. If the word was confirmation, just type confirmation. Amen. Let's give God praise. Hallelujah. Let's let's bless the Lord tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's give God all the glory, all the honor. Amen. Evangelist Arlene says, I will be sowing. Yes. Thank you all for your seed tonight. And name your seed the night of the prophetic so that I'll know. Amen. What your seed is for. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. There's a confirmation there. Amen. We truly bless the Lord. All right. So we're going to pray over every seed that has been sown. Those of you on Instagram live is not many of you. I'm going to shut the um, Instagram live off so that i could just focus on facebook amen i don't know what god's getting ready to do i still feel a moving prophet <laughs> hey glory hallelujah hallelujah i said i still feel god moving Woo, hallelujah hey shatanda baha mm, glory to god all right all right instagram we love you all instagram jump on to carmen haywood on facebook all right we love you in jesus name all right thank you all